everyone. Hopefully you've heard the great news that astronomers have now taken the first photograph of a black hole directly. So here's the story behind it. A hundred years ago, Albert Einstein writes the general theory of relativity in which he states that gravity comes from warps and curves in the fabric of space. A couple years later, a man named Karl Schwarzschild, who was in the German army on the Russian front lines in World War I, catches wind of Einstein's paper and he says that based on Einstein's math, he becomes obsessed with this paper and he says based on Einstein's math, if you have an object that is both massive enough and sufficiently small enough in size, it would create a gravity well that not even light could escape from, hence the term black hole. Now Einstein catches wind of this and he doesn't believe it. He doesn't believe black holes exist even though Carl Schwarzschild proved mathematically. But as physics progressed and as the technology advanced we became more and more accurate in our mathematical representations of black holes and we believed that they would exist. And then proof of videos came out where black holes would be inferred. Basically you have a center object that you can't see in this video and if I find an example I can put it up here for you to see. But you have orbiting stars around the black hole or what you think is a black hole and as it comes near it, it speeds up and then it'll slow down and then it comes back around and speeds up again. And based on that speed you can calculate the mass of the thing that everything's orbiting. And that mass is so significantly large, and obviously you can't see it, that the only inferred logical thing would be a black hole of unreasonable size, in which astrophysics we call a supermassive black hole. But still, yet with all that evidence, we'd still never directly photographed a black hole. And that is exactly what has changed this week. As you can see from this picture, astronomers using the Event Horizon Telescope and combining images from radio telescopes around the world have taken the first direct photo of a supermassive black hole. So the dark area in the center is obviously the black hole. And you might ask yourself, well, what is around it glowing? Uh, in astrophysics, we call that an accretion disk. Basically, it's a bunch of matter orbiting the black hole really close. And because it's orbiting so tightly and at great speeds, it gets basically illuminated. It starts to glow when it's orbiting the black hole. So this supermassive black hole in M87 in the Virgo constellation is 55 million light years away and it's 6.5 billion times bigger than our sun but perhaps the biggest factor of this discovery is the fact that it opened a whole new way of exploring the universe and maybe just maybe we'll start listening to this Einstein guy alright thank you all for watching have a wonderful day peace